Yo, what's good guys? Today, finally, the long-awaited video. I know it's been a it's been a long time since I've recorded the video, but you know it is what it is. Gotta get through it. But yeah, we're back with a brand new video. And the video, what is it gonna be about? It's gonna be about the entry model I use. The only entry model you will ever need. Doesn't matter whatever strategy you're using. Course will be the best with our SMC strategy as in the course as well. But you can use this. On anything of course you have to back this and look how it works on your strategy but I use this aligned with supply and demand right so simply let me just scratch um, here, let me just get a sketch going to show you guys what it is right so let's say we have this is our trend this is what we're having right something like this this right so what do you see you see constant break of structure to the upside right Okay, nice. It doesn't really matter, right? At the end of the day, what is important is that we mark out the zones, right? So let's say we have a zone here. Let's say this is a demand zone. Of course, this is a little bit big, but this is just you know, to showcase. And then we have a supply zone here. As you guys know, ping pong, you know, up, down, up, down. This is what we like. So what are, what are we going to look for? Inside this 15-minute POI, we want to see a one-minute chalk flip, right? As you guys know, the one-minute chalk flip, what is this? Let me briefly explain. A one minute chalk is not the same as a one minute chalk flip and this is very important because um, a one minute chalk could be easily faked out and a one minute chalk flip is way more reliable. So what this is, is first of all, let's say that, um, you know, this touch here, this touch here is a touch in here, right? So what we have is we come into a 15 minute period and guys, please. Please do not forget that you have to have a chalk flip inside a POI. You can't just have a random one minute chalk flip and expect it to hold. It doesn't work like that. It has to be inside a valid POI. Again, it has to be valid. The POI has always to be valid. In order for it to be valid, you have to look at my other videos. I have a video on, uh, on supply demand and even on the how to validate your supply demand videos, uh, your supply demand zones, right? So first of all, let's say we have the, we have the push. Right, you have the push here, you have a reaction. This is the first fake out for the people. This is just a simple reaction for people that just play off rejections, which is going to get stopped out. Right, and after that, what do we see? We see the price is going to liquidate those highs, right? So essentially, you get liquidity swept as first entry, and then what happens? You get the real chalk, right? And unless this low breaks, I don't care if price goes right on it, this low has to break. It has to be a break of structure, right? And I will show live examples as well. And then on the retest, you take your trade entry. Now, of course, personally me, what I do is whenever we have this one minute POI, right? So this is a 15 minute POI. We have the one minute chalk flip. We leave behind a one minute POI. And in the one minute POI, I use the 15 second chalk flip once again. Now, of course, you can just rely on the one minute chalk flip. This will also work, right? So now let's simply, now we have the sketch. We will just simply look at live market conditions. Uh, let's go back into replay mode. And see where we at right so what do we see this is also good to, to spot trend right because what do you see here first of all we see that price mitigates into a deeper demand zone right here with taking all this liquidity now what does it do first of all we have the liquidity sweep then what do we have we have the chalk right we have the, the ch this is the chalk and this is the flip right that's how we can see it and this is the demand zone that's left behind so what we're simply gonna do is for, for wait for price to pull back Right, but what we also see is that you know AUDUSD is reacting from this supply zone right here. And what did what did it do? It did have a liquidity sweep right here, and then it has a nice break of the low here, right? Of course, it did break these lows as well, but we can use this as a nice reference. So either one of those, one of these zones, we're interested to buy ourselves from, right? So we're simply gonna wait for price to mitigate this and then pull back into our zone, give us a moment of confirmation. Right, so now we're inside the zone. This is a 15 minute zone, very important. As you guys can see, we did not get any confirmation whatsoever, so you didn't get any entry at all. What we wanna see is purge of these highs and then we wanna break these lows, right? So we could actually go a little bit further because it is about to be a rollover anyway. So we're simply gonna wait. Now PA is gonna be a little bit choppy, which is okay. I'm still gonna show you that this is always gonna be valid. Now what do we simply see? That price, you know, it wants to pull back, whatever, it's no problem. What do we do? We mark our next demand zone here. And then on the five minute, let's see what we got on the five minute. We got a simple break of structure to the downside, which is also fine, right? 
what we're gonna look for is then our supply zone right here or what I would personally do is you know we see that this is pure liquidity and take the most extreme zone which is gonna be this high that's what I personally would do right so we're now simply again gonna wait and you're gonna wait for price to pull back into your area of interest or you want to buy or sell or whatever now I'm just gonna simply have some little bit of patience because we refined our zone, we did not get tagged in and we did not get an entry, but as you guys can see, price went in there. Let's see if they get any confirmation. As you guys can see, there is no real confirmation here. And let me explain to you why, because why? This is where you, right? So this is where the tagging gets. And then what do you have? You have the chalk right here. This is where the chalk happens. This is where the real liquidity happens. So what you have to see now is for price to break this low, which seems like it's not gonna happen. So you don't you don't care about it, right? You just forget about it. Now what do you do? You go for the next POI, which is gonna be right here. So now we have extra confidence because all of this is used as liquidity, right? So now we go on the one minute and we're simply gonna wait for the chalk flip once again. Simply gonna be patient. Now of course, sometimes the chalk flip does not happen. And what you do then is you go to look on the lower time frames um just a break of structure is fine again what do we see here we push these highs right as we push these highs we liquidate these highs and we pull back then what do we do is we push those highs again and then we break those lows and then we retest the supply zone this is a perfect entry right this is a perfect entry stop would be here or even above the high and where you're targeting you're targeting the 15 minute demand zone which is going to be right here and then you're going to buy from there, right? That's what ping pong is made of. You know, buy to sell, sell to buy, whatever. So this would have been your entry. This would have been a very, very valid entry. Let's see what price is going to do next. You would have been uh, chilling break even by now. So nothing to worry about. We'll see what price is going to do. You're, you're floating a nice C profit, nice profit. It pulls back, which is normal, right? It's always normal for price to pull back, come up, get higher shorts in and then come lower eventually it's going to take a while so whilst we're at it i'm going to scroll a little bit faster so as you guys can see either way we get tp out i mean we almost do okay so there we get tp out for 11 hour right that's a simple 11 hour setup now what do we see price mitigates the demand zone let's see if we get any confirmation inside this demand zone all right so what we're going to look for is for price we see what do we see we see a simple setup right we see price taking these lows because this was inducement. That's confirmation number one. Then what do you see? We see a simple break of structure, right? Now, sometimes you don't get the chalk flip, which in this case, you did not get any chalk flips. So it's very, very important to not get stuck behind in chalk flips forever. But what to look for is, first of all, what I would see is that this low, you know, we had a small inducement on this low, a real small inducement, right? What you have is you break this low and you purge this high. And this is where you could take a small market entry like this because we already have mitigated a demand zone. We had a nice reaction. We had a one minute break of structure. And we already had a break of structure here after having inducement and liquidity getting taken out, which is very, very important because liquidity is the most important part. Inducement, aka smart money trap, meaning that price fake bounces on a demand zone without getting the real tag in. So this is a, probably an order block for people, which you know you got stopped off for sure. Then you get the entry, and then what do you do? You target simply, like I said, ping pong. You're just gonna target the nearest supply zone, which is gonna be right here, right? Because this supply zone is the one that caused a big structure. That would be resulting in a seven R trade. Well, uh, would you be tagged out? Well, that's a little bit unfortunate itself, but let's see if you did manage to get an entry right here, right? Let's just simply wait. Now, what do we see? We see that, you know, price comes in, purge these highs and let me explain to you one thing that the purge of the high if if the liquidity sweeps tags the order block i mean the supply zone itself then it's fine right this first tag in the supply does not have to be uh the only tag in and why is this because this is inducement people who have the supply zones bigger are getting tagged in here and they react off this but people who trade like like us will refine their zone know that this is the real tag in and this is why the chalk flip here is valid, right? So then we have the chalk, we have the flip. Come here, we retest. Now this is hard to get a zone, right? But let's say you entered on this here. This would have been your entry right here. Stops to be the high. 
where you're targeting simply because we are in a bearish continuation phase and I think that we could pull back all the way lower here I would simply target to these low uh, to that uh, demand zone because I don't think that's gonna hold right now again we'll have to see what price thinks about that probably getting break even right here well this is I mean this is like mark, mark conditions but either way uh, let me show a few more examples let's go let's go back to EU let's go back to EU and see what EU has to offer we, we went back into rental price action so what do you see right we see we have a nice demand zone here right did this demand zone react off anything that's gonna be hard to see maybe if you go on the four hour looking at the four hour we have a nice demand zone right here and this one we have a nice little inducement so that demand zone was valid what do we have right first of all we have the chalk to the downside right this was inducement then you have the break to the upside right so the first move is always going to be inducement which is which causes a liquidity sweep right the first move is 99 percent just inducement this is why is this inducement because people who have their supply or demand zones way too big aka people who use order blocks have their demand zones way too big and they get caught in the fake move right this is the fake move they get stopped out then the real move happens gives us confirmation of this break of structure then comes into my demand zone right and let's see if the demand zone gave any confirmation it gave beautiful beautiful confirmation as you guys can see here what do you have you have this um you have price tag in here then what does it do give, give us a one minute break of structure gives a nice little 10 pip pump which is enough for me to confirm that people went on this trade this is a valid break of structure why because um this is not equal highs because nobody is shorting here so this is for me a valid break of structure and even this is a valid break of structure then what this price do simply comes in tags us in now i'll show you the 15 second confirmation as well inside the zone so if you would have waited for the 15 second what would you do you would have waited for price to break above this right because chalk chalk as you guys can see perfect example then what do you have you simply go on the one minute and you're gonna target what you're gonna target 50 minute ping pong right and where am i looking for the ping pong I see this as inducement personally so I could see price come all the way up here and break those highs right that's what I'm expecting for EU to do so let's simply target that and see what's gonna bring out I think this is pretty recent yeah this is this is yesterday so price actually did not come all the way up there I think I am not sure I actually don't know but yeah eventually it did so Price did hit exactly for a 7RTP. Seven, seven so this is the showcase of the chart flip, right? Now let's look again and go a little bit more time and let me show you one more example. And then I'll just reword what I just said. So what do we have? We have a nice tag in the demand zone, right? We have a nice chart flip here. You break the, you, the, you liquidate the lows for the first people who, so what, it, what, what exactly happens is the people who get tagged in their demand zones here, they got faked out why because they don't use confirmation they simply just long on every demand or supply zone they use right and that's why we are trying to keep better than them all right so we break the lows break the lows meaning we liquidate the lows we don't have to break structure we only have to liquidate the lows right breaking structures okay that's also fine as long as price liquidates the lows aka induces and then liquidates that lows that induced the demand zone or the supply zone that's what we're looking for because we want liquidity to be taken right we don't want to be longing with too many people together right i mean that's exaggerating but you got, you guys know what i mean so what do we have we have the chalk we have the liquidity sweep then we have the chalk meaning change of character to the upside so now what i do i just wait for a simple tap in back to my demand zone which is going to be like this and then once i get my tag in i just want a one minute confirmation inside a 15 minute zone and now obviously you guys know I don't want to wait too long so what do i do i take my four hour zone uh, higher time frame zones right this was a higher time frame zone price went in let's see what price does now we did get a massive massive sell off here looks like no confirmation for me so what do i do i don't enter simple as that right so what do i do i either wait for price to break structure to the upside or to the downside now i see the price break structure to the downside Right, so what I'm looking at is either I'm gonna short here or I run along from there. It's simple ping pong strategy, right? Short or long depends on where price comes. And during this, I don't want to trade because it's choppy. It's only choppy, right? So eventually, price is gonna come. It's heading into my POI. 
Just gonna simply wait for one minute confirmation and then see what's up. Gonna wait. And what I what I already see is that first of all we had a sweep here, break above here, right? You retest, very nice retest. Now if you want more confirmation, simply you had another one minute break of structure right here. Then you had another retest here. Right, so that's two entries already and if you would have entered right here now you can either set your stop loss below the supply zone a uh, demand zone or set your stop loss i mean you could have set your stop loss here or you could have set your stop loss here that's all personal preference now since this stop loss is a little bit tight it's going to be it's going to be tricky to see and it's uh, the time is not the best it's rollover so uh, the setup may not hit or may hit it depends Probably not, yeah, exactly, because it is a rollover. You would not have taken this trade. But now we're since, since we're in Asia, we could actually see if the setup is going to hit. We don't have any confirmational entries here. No chalk flip yet. This is not a valid chalk flip as uh, this did not give any real inducement to go up first, right? Because we are already mitigating this demand zone, I want more conviction. That's why I'm going to wait a little bit. Possibly waiting for a five minute chalk flip and then a one minute confirmation inside that zone. So, what do we have? We see, okay, so this is confirmation. We purge the lows and then we pull back and we break those highs. So, now I want price to pull back into these, this demand zone right here, and then from that, I want to buy, right? So, we get one minute tagging. And do we get any confirmation? As you guys can see, we don't get any confirmation. So, this is where you save yourself. You don't get any confirmation, you don't take any entries. So that's how the chalk flip works. So last time, let me guys explain. Explain. You have a supply zone, right? It has to be inside the supply or the demand zone. That's a hundred percent needed. If it's not inside uh, a demand or a supply zone, this is not valid. Okay. So what do you what does price do? This is what's gonna happen most of the time, right? And what is this? This is a smart money trap. This is inducement for people who have refine their zones a little bit too much or have their zones too big so you have to tag in you create liquidity you sweep this liquidity and tag in my order block or demand or supply whatever you want to call it then you break this low who so what you got to do is you got to break the low that created that liquidity sweep right so this was a low that created the liquidity sweep once it breaks a low you search for your supply zone and then you take your entry and the best way to see if a liquidity sweep is worth it for you is to just think would i place my stop loss below here and if you would then that's a valid liquidity sweep because if you would place your stop loss there then others would as well right and that's the only validity to a liquidity sweep all right so last time let me guys show you simple you get inside a poi uh, form liquidity inside or outside the POI it does not matter as long as the liquidity sweep tags in the POI and then breaks breaks that structure breaks below creates a chalk then the retest and then boom we melt down now, of course this is not a hundred percent win rate but this is hot this is profitable I have tested this I am using this every day day in and day out it is profitable to make this more profitable you could always use the 50 second why is the 50 second confirmation extra good because if your supply is invalid, it will just push through. Then you won't get any 50 second confirmation. So that could save you some loss as well. So this is highly suggested by me. Make sure to backtest this. Make sure to collect your data on this and then search for yourself. What's the best for yourself? And then you could always add this to your trading. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be the end. Appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.